Hello everyone. This is the question asked in K2018 Electrical Engineering. P, Q, R and S crossed a lake in a boat that can hold a maximum of two persons with only one set of oars. The following additional facts are available. First, the boat held two persons on each of the three forward trips across the lake and one person on each of the two return trips. P is unable to row with anyone else in the boat. Q is unable to row with anyone else except R. Each person rowed for at least one trip. Only one person can row during a trip. Who rowed twice? So, in this problem, we have been given with certain set of informations and based on the deductions from the information, we have to determine that which among these four people have rowed twice. So, in order to solve this problem, let's have a look at the useful info. So, in such problems, we always need to figure out the direct information and the indirect information. So, the direct information is the one which is clearly mentioned in the statement of the question. This is the information which we will be using to start solving the questions. And indirect information is the one for which we will look the connection between the different parts of the information. These connections form the indirect information. Now on the basis of this, let's try to solve the problem. So as a nomenclature, let us take a person X who rows the boat as X bar. So now, Let's try to split the different points. Now as per first point it is given to us that the boat is held for two persons on the three forward trips and let us denote the forward trips by the upward arrow and one person for each of the two return trips and let us denote the two return trips by downward arrow. So for the three forward trips two people can row the boat and for the two return trips only a single person can row. So in total there should be five trips with the boat. Second thing which is given to us is that Q is unable to row with anyone else except R which means that Q and R has to row together. Also Q has to row during the forward trip because Q can never row alone which also means that Q cannot row during the return trip as he has to row every time with R. So during the first forward trip let us send Q and R together with Q rowing the boat. Now, during the second return trip, R has to return the boat as Q cannot return the boat alone. Also, in the third forward trip, R has basically two choices. So either he can take P along with R or P along with S. So let us take the first possibility where R takes P along with him and it is given to us and also it is given to us that P is unable to row when anyone else is in the boat. That means that R has to row with P. So once P has reached the other side, then P can return back to collect S. Because if I take R to collect back S, then P would be the person who has never rowed even once, which is violating the condition number 4. So P has to return in the fourth trip. And after the fourth trip, P can collect S with S rowing the boat because there is no condition that is binded by S. And there is a condition binded by P which says that P is unable to row when someone else is in the boat. So with these set of conditions I can see that R has rowed twice. Now let us examine the third condition with a different possibility where P and S are rowing the forward trip with S rowing. Now P has to return back due to the same reason. Now in the last trip P can take R along with him with R rowing forward as P can never row with anyone who is there along with him. So in this case also I can see that R is the person who has rowed twice and these two conditions satisfy all of those five conditions. Here every person has rowed at least once Q, R, S and P where R has rowed twice. Now let us examine another case where instead of Q rowing with R let us take P rowing with S and obviously S would be rowing the boat. Now in the second return trip P can return with the boat as taking S during the return trip would leave P with no trip. So we will take P in the return trip. Now once P is on the other side we can take Q and R together with Q rowing the boat and we can return R in the backward trip as Q can never travel without R. So once R is on the other side we can take P with R with R rowing back. So in this case I can see that R is the only person that has rowed twice and 
every person has wrote for at least once so in all the possibilities i can see that r is the player who has wrote twice and this matches with option c so option c is the right answer thank you